an amazing adventure has ended with a California teenager sailing into history. 17-year-old Zach Sunderland is now the youngest person ever to circle the globe alone in a sailboat. For 13 months at sea, he encountered fierce storms, several times lost communication, and had a near run-in with pirates. His route took Zach past Hawaii to the South Pacific, South Africa, through the Panama Canal, and up the Pacific coast. He endured long stretches of loneliness, but lonely was hardly the word to describe his homecoming. Zach received a hero's welcome. Zach joins us now with his parents, Lawrence and Marianne Sunderland from Marina del Rey, California. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Good morning. Zach, congratulations. So much time alone on that boat, all kinds of trials and tribulations. What was the hardest part of this journey for you? Uh, the hardest part, I have to say, like as far as consistency went, was probably the uh, like sleep deprivation, you know, just uh, constant sleep deprivation out there when you're single handing, you know, you're by yourself on the boat, so there's no one to uh, help you out when stuff goes wrong or, uh, you know, watches when close to shore. So a lot of the time I was up for, you know, 48 hours and stuff, and uh, it's going to be nice not to do that anymore. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Was there ever a moment when you thought, I'm just going to give up. Maybe I should try this another time because this is, this is, this, this, the idea of this is asking more than I can give. Not really. I mean, once you're in the ocean, I mean, you're miles and days away from everywhere. So, I mean, if you think like that, it's really not doing yourself any good and it just kind of wears you out even more if you're, uh, you know, thinking negatively. So I just kind of focus on the positive and try and uh, right. make everything work out the best I can. Were you ever afraid? Yeah, the uh, things that scare me out in the ocean is stuff I can't control. So, I mean, like when the force day broke on the boat, just the thing that holds the mast from falling backwards, that was uh, pretty crazy out there. You know, four days of very little sleep and uh, hoping the mast wasn't going to fall over backwards. It was, uh, yeah, pretty crazy times uh, out there. And then I had piracy off of uh, Indonesia. So. <laughs> That's, that's, those are some serious reality checks if you're fa sailing solo around the world. Uh, Lawrence, let me ask you, this, this boat, this is a boat, you're, you're a boat builder. This is a boat that basically was kind of retrofitted f for this mission. This is not a, a sailboat that was designed to go around the world per se. What level of confidence did you have as your son was embarking on this journey? Um, I had 100% confidence in what Zach was doing. Um, yes, I am a boat builder surveyor and um, we've actually owned two of these vessels prior to um, Zach uh, purchasing his own with his own money. And uh, I knew the weaknesses of the vessels, uh, the vessel and we uh, strengthened cabin walls, we strengthened the hull in strategic places. Mm -hmm. We made sure that that boat was bulletproof before he went mm -hmm. out on the ocean. Mm -hmm. Marianne, what was the most difficult part for you? I think I'd have to say the same as Zach, the things that you had no control over. You know, if there was a breakage on the boat, we could troubleshoot it. Um, if there was a bad weather, you know, we could route him around it or, you know, he could know ahead of time with forecasting that it was coming. But things like ships on a collision course that, <sighs> that didn't listen or didn't hear him on the radio or you know, uh, the forest day, those, the kinds of things that you can't do anything about are the worst for right. sure. Zach, most important thing you learned out there? I don't know, I just kind of learned so much about the world, you know, out there seeing all the different cultures and stuff. It's just amazing how, uh, how different the world is and how happy these people are in other countries, you know, that comparatively have nothing to Americans, you know, and just how beautiful that all is. So yeah, it's been just an amazing year of, I guess, life experience and stuff. Right. Well, there's uh, lots of video available, lots of things to check out online, and I understand there's a book to come as well. We'll look forward to uh, reading that. Thank you so much, and congratulations. What, what a journey. What an amazing accomplishment. Thanks for having us on. Yeah. Thank you time. very much, guys. Be Thanks. well. All right.